You're watching a summary of the international news live from our Tehran headquarters. This is Press TV and I'm Afshin Ratansi. Well, following two days of intensive Israeli attacks on the Gaza Strip, we're now getting reports here of what appears uh, to be an Israeli ground incursion into the region, another one. Eyewitnesses say an Israeli raiding force has entered Gaza at the Sufa crossing. Until now, Israeli officials have held back from ordering ground operations in Gaza. But Defense Minister Ehud Barak has hinted at reoccupying the whole region to oust the Hamas government. Over the last two days, more than 30 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli attacks, including a number of children. Well, Press TV's correspondent in Gaza, Ashraf Shannon, now joins me live on the phone. Can you just tell me uh, what's happening there on the ground? What, what are you hearing? Uh, what's really happening is there's an Israeli incursion, as you said, near the Sofa crossing east of Gaza City, where a dozen uh, tanks uh, entered the outskirts of Gaza City. And there's also uh, another incursion uh, in uh, the southern Gaza Strip, uh, town of Khan Yunis. This, as the, uh, the, the Israeli Air Force continued to... Uh, for the second day running, uh, uh, doing air raids and uh, firing rockets at, uh, at buildings belonging to the Hamas government. And uh, most of the, uh, of, of the casualties were civilians. About an hour ago, uh, they hit a building that belongs to the Palestinian Labor Union. And there's uh, reports of, of at least 30 injuries. And uh, uh, they're, they're suspecting there was also a six-month-year-old boy was also killed. Right. And, uh, of course, the international media keeps uh, emphasizing the one Israeli casualty and uh, the homemade rockets. Can you tell me what, uh, what you're seeing in terms of the Israeli firepower on Gaza at the moment? I mean, the, is the Israeli army is treating the uh, tiny coastal strip like a, uh, like a, uh, a major uh, world power. You know, it's, it's a very defenseless uh, tiny strip. There's no industry here. They cannot manufacture weapons. The, 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 the homemade rockets that they fire into Israel is just basically empty metal tubes that hit uh, Israeli territory. And uh, I notice there are comments uh, here from, the, from agencies that the foreign secretary in Israel, Tzipi Livni, is urging the international community to accept what's happening. Condoleezza Rice due there next week. Uh, what sort of atmosphere do you envisage, given what you're seeing there on the ground tonight? People in Gaza believe the, the Israeli army will continue their airstrikes because the people here believe that the United States is uh, covering up Israeli crimes. At the same time, or when the uh, Palestinian president meets with the, with the Israeli politicians, this, uh, according to Hamas, covers up the Israeli crimes as well. We've been seeing pictures of that uh, six-month-old child who uh, died after the Israeli airstrikes. Can you tell me, are there any comments from Hamas officials and are there any comments from Fatah officials? Well, uh, Fatah officials, from what I heard, they've, they've condemned the Israeli airstrikes. Hamas uh, blames uh, Israel and blames the uh, Palestinian leadership uh, in the West Bank who keeps sitting with the Israelis while the Israelis uh, perpetrating crimes against the Palestinians in Gaza and imposing embargo on them, uh, preventing medicines and uh, medical equipment and food from entering Gaza. And uh, Hamas has called yet tomorrow, Friday, after the Friday prayers, for, uh, for all the people in the Palestinian territories, and especially in Gaza, uh, to, go, to go out on uh, massive marches to protest the Israeli escalation. Okay, thank you very much for that update, Ashraf Shan and Press TV's man in Gaza. Be safe. And uh, to remind our audience there uh, of that breaking news of Israeli incursions after darkness on Thursday, more incursions. Now to uh, 
Post-invasion Iraq, Turkey says it won't set a withdrawal date as its troops in northern Iraq continue to battle Kurdish Workers' Party rebels. Prime Minister Erdogan said Turkey's army will stay in Iraq until it achieves its objectives. That's despite calls from Washington demanding an end to the operation. The Turkish military reports seven more Kurdish Workers' Party rebels killed, bringing the death toll to over 230 since the incursion began last week. Ankara says the PKK uses Iraq's mountainous north to launch terrorist attacks on Turkish soil. The conflict between PKK and the Turkish government has claimed nearly 40,000 lives since 1984. Well, you've been watching a special summary, uh, including that news we're getting reports of from Gaza. Bye for now.